Hey folks, this is Vincent Adelie with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to revisit Awkward Guests. This game supports 1 to 8 players, it's for ages 12 and up, and the average play time is 45 to 75 minutes. We played two games recently, well three, but we didn't cover the one. Uh, they were all solo versions of the game. If you want to learn how to play the game, go watch one of those videos. I really don't feel like rehashing everything all <laughs> over again. However, in the two-player game, which is what we're about to show you, and we're going to try this for the first time as well, um, we're going to be competing to try and come up with the answer before the other one does. Um, what's different about the two-player game is that there is a deck of cards. Uh, what's going to happen is you're going to choose a case. The case can either come from the rulebook, the back of the rulebook, or you can have the app generate one for you, and I've had the app generate one. That way, if we guess wrong, we're not eliminated. The app will just simply say, no, you're wrong, keep trying. But as a penalty for getting the wrong answer, um, you cannot guess the next round, that kind of thing. So I had the game generate a case. If the case is on the very top there, 114586-J, difficulty beginner. In the beginner difficulty, there is no accomplice. It's just going to be the murder. And the game will tell us what cards to take out of the box and throw together into a deck like this. And then after that, each player is going to get a hand of six cards. We will not need the app again until we're ready to punch in the uh, answer. So if one of us thinks we know the answer, we're going to use the app to punch that in. But the app is not needed now for the rest of the game. Cool. So I'm just going to move that off to the side. Now, typically, in a competitive game such as this, each player should have their own player screen. And ideally, I'd want to do something like this or like this to cover this up. But for the sake of the video and so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing, I'm opting not to use a screen and I will operate on the honor system that she's not going to peek at what I I'm doing. Not. I can't even look that far. I'm blind. She has her own <laughs> screen, her own sheet over there. But from time to time, mm -hmm. I will show you what I'm doing and I will try my best to explain why I'm doing it without giving away information. Um, so in the two-player game, like I said, everyone gets six cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If you need me to, I can actually cover my ears. You're fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. And based on the information in our starting hand, we can start eliminating some things. Cool. Okay. So this is going to take me a little bit of time to actually do this. But I'm going to quickly show these cards to you folks. Um, just so you can turn that right there. Right, okay. As you can see, we've played this game several times before. Uh, so, all right. So let me go ahead and quickly just jot down. Um, I wonder if I should on a separate piece of paper. That doesn't matter. Go ahead. No, I'm not going to bother. In, in the solo game, we were keeping track of what cards we received and what their point values were. I think now I'm just going to just wing it. Wing for, it just yeah. for the sake of... Again, this is a casual two-player game. Yes. I just want to show the folks at home what it's like. Uh, now, this is the rule book here. The back of the rule book has a map of the people and the rooms. And so that you don't have to repeat yourself when you're requesting information, you can have the arrows point to who, or to who you're asking about or what room you're asking about. In a two-player game, there's going to be four inquiries made per player, rather than two, as in the core game. So I need to go through this now. All right, so I'm going to put uh, that. All right, that's one. This one is, uh, oh, claims with, I already made a mistake. All right. You can have a new sheet. No, right? it's fine. Okay. All right, and that one was none of that. And I will promise to show you folks what I'm doing after I'm done doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hopefully you guys aren't just looking at the back of my head at this point. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to put my head, my big noggin in the camera. Um, You love this game. She has been hounding me to play this all day. Just to, just to try the two-player version. 
And, and in case you guys didn't know, I figured out a way to stream this online, and I've been streaming it on Twitch. So if you guys want to participate in some solo cooperative investigations, you know, we can totally do that. Just look me up on Twitch. There should be links in the description. All right, so... All right, I am done. Okay. Okay, so just to show you what I've marked off based on my cards, um, one of them involved this symbol here, so I've gone ahead and just crossed those. And then this person claims they were with this person, so I just marked that there. Wait staff saw that, and uh, this weapon was not a thing, and yeah, the wait the staff also reported that these people didn't go through here, and so on. I'm trying to be vague, but like I said, I'm not here to like compete with Ida Lee in any way. Yeah, um, me neither. So, another, n another thing about non-solo games is each player receives one of these tokens. At the end of the round, um, they're going to, I guess, like secretly vote as to whether or not they want to make a guess. Uh, so, like at the end of the round, you're going to say, you're just going to hold out your hand and then reveal what you've chosen. The dark side means that you don't have a guess. The light side means you do have a guess. Mm -hmm. So, it's just a way of... And if multiple people um, have the guess side up, then uh, both people will guess, and whoever guessed it right will win. Yep. And if no one guessed it right, then you keep playing. Again, if you're using the, the rule book scenarios, though, you're out of the game if you guess wrong, which is bad. So did you um, input all of your information? Not yet. I'm okay. Sure. I will stall and show the folks at home what mm -hmm. the rest of this is. So I, I already mentioned the arrows go with the back of the rule book here, helping you to just point out what you're looking for. This is the first player marker. There is a stand for it, but it's just easier. It's, it's easier to, for camera purposes just to do this. So Idalee is going to start first this round, and then we'll pass that. Here's the deck of cards that were pulled from the app. And again, uh, for those who didn't look at my prior videos, this is the box of cards. There's like 243 cards in the entire game, but you're only going to pull out some of them depending on the, the scenario. Are these player tokens? No, th that's what I was talking about, the oh. guest thing. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. And this is the discard right here. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to have this confidential card, like, on top of every card that you put in there for some reason, but I'm not going to bother with it. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Okay, so now you are the first player. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is request cards from me. Like, okay. you're going to point at four pieces of information. Maybe I'll put this face down for the moment. Yeah, that way I don't know That way, I'm trying to that like way you can look, it. or you can tell me what you want to point at, and I'll just, I'll move the arrows for you, whatever is easier. Okay. Oh, this is, I don't know if you can see anything doing that, but, well. All right. Um, I will request information from, uh, Billiard and garage. Four things in a two-player game. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Billiard, garage, garage, kitchen, kitchen, shed. Uh, shed is there you go. Okay. So now I have to look at my cards and possibly offer something regarding these things. Now, if I don't offer anything, mm -hmm. she can draw two cards from the deck, and she'll note them in her sheet and then put them in the discard face down. Do we have limited points like in the solo player? No. No. We wow. can we keep going until someone wins. Okay. This is why I'm not keeping track of what cards are point values and yeah. all that jazz. Okay. So this one references something that she's looking for. So I may want to give her that one. Um I can also give her multiple cards too. And she has to give me that many card points back as compensation. Um she asked about um None of those. Uh, 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 nope. Nope. All right. I can offer you one card worth one point. Okay. Uh, and I have to... You have to respond her. correct. So we exchange cards. Now, instead of putting that in your hand, yes. you're going to note this new information, and I'll note my new information. Okay. And those go into the face-down discard pile. Now, the card that I gave you, does it have to relate to... It does not. Work? It can be okay. anything you want. Interesting. Okay. 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 So that's going to go face down in the discard pile there. 
And this is the new information that I put right there. And I'll clear these off. And for those of you while she's doing that, it's fine. I'm just going to quickly show you the inside of the rulebook to try and be as thorough with this video as possible. Um, it talks about game setup and game objectives. Over here we've got turn order overview. Um, here's a quick look at all of that. Two player, for the most part, plays exactly the same as shown here. Inquiry phase, offer phase, exchange phase. And it sort of explains, you know, how that all works. Um, did you flip it over? Did I flip, flip your, whatever? Your sheet? I did uh, not. Go ahead. I'm trying so hard, so hard not to look. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that goes face down. Okay. Right there. Oh, okay, okay. So now it's my turn and I have to offer up, or okay. I have to request information from okay. you. So, um, what do I want? You in can flip your. All right. Also, I'll not look. <laughs> uh, let's go with uh, that one and that one and uh, that one and um, I'd like information on um, the vestibule, library, Claudette, and Greg. And you can look on the, I flipped my sheet over so you can look at what I'm asking for. Vestibule, library, Claudette, and Greg? Yes. I can offer you a card worth two points. Okay. Um, yeah, I have to take it. So I'll give you my card here. That's worth two? That's well, worth two. Yep. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thank you. So now I will note what this new information is and then discard. Right. So that's that. And the staff will always tell the truth. Yep. So now we know that no one was there. Just like she knows because she gave it to me. Yes. And that goes there. You know this one as well. Yep, yeah, that's the one I gave you. So, And then when you're done with that, just put it face down in the discard pile. My guess is that that's confidential card that I put off to the side. It's supposed to go on top like this. My guess is if people start memorizing numbers, ah. people won't know, be able to count cards, I guess. Yeah, but I, I'm not that smart. Yeah, my memory's not that. <laughs> so, yeah. So now, supposedly, this is the end of the round because we've both asked for stuff. Okay. Now we discard down to, actually, let me just make sure I got that in the right order. Okay. Um, offer solution phase. Okay, so at the end of each round, the following phases take place. Um, the solution phase. So I guess here, this is the part where you would go, oh. do you want to make a guess? And we reveal at the same time. Mm -hmm. And my answer is no. No one's ready to guess yet. I, I'm sure you're not either. So from there, we move on to uh, the discard phase. The discard phase means you discard down to three cards face down. Oh, interesting. And then you draw back up at the beginning of the round, back up to six again. Okay, I see. So I'm just going to get rid of... Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one. And then I have to draw back up one, two, three. So we discarded three. You discard draw... down to three. Down oh, to three. One, two. Okay. So, so as so long as you've got three one. cards in your hand, I see. now you draw from the draw pile back up to three again. Back up to three. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see. Crap. All right. <laughs> All right. I should have kept the one I had. Oh, that's fine. Interesting. Okay, so now... We so now go. I am first player. Mm -hmm. So now I am going to request things from you. Do we do we now input the new... Oh, yeah. I guess I should do that. <laughs> um, I don't remember which ones I... Okay, so I think it was these. Uh, yeah, I think I mixed them up. So I'll have to look at them and make sure. Okay, so... That one... So here's one of the ones there. Um, this one we already knew about, I think. No, we didn't. All right. This one. Okay. So that would roll out that and that. Looking for this, 
I know there's two more somewhere. That one. Don't look, I'm still... I'm not looking, I'm not looking. <laughs> And <laughs> that one. Now I could cross them up off here when I'm ready to. Um, knew about that one, knew about that one, and knew about... Okay, so I've updated my information as appropriate. Okay. So now I'm going to request some things from you. Okay. Being first player. Um, let's go with, um, library, let's go with, uh, let's go with Stanley, and we'll go with Claude Dead again, and we'll go with, um, and it can be any combination, you can have three people, or one room, or three rooms, one person, you can do any, anything you want there. Uh, let's go with um, Angelica. Okay. So. Uh, I will flip my sheet. Fine. So that you can. Library Stanley, Claudette, Angelica. I can offer one card for one point. One card for one point. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, now, can you choose not to accept that card and still draw to you? No, I have to accept your offer, whatever it is. I see. If you don't offer me anything, then I can draw then, two okay. and take note and then discard. I see. So here's your one card. Okay, here's uh, yours. All right, so let's see the new information that I got. Um, okay. All right, so this was not the, okay, motive. All right. So so based on that, okay, so just to show you folks, um, oh, I crossed the wrong side. I'm like, there's no way I could eliminate them that quickly. Okay, so there we Instead go. Instead of flipping it, why don't you use one of these and just cover it? I could, it? yeah, maybe I should do that. Okay, so I've, un I've eliminated this here. And I will take your suggestion because I'm gonna I'm gonna confuse myself as yeah. an old person doing that. Okay. Um, and the card that you just gave me, I'm gonna put into the discard pile. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. All right, and now you can ask me for things. All right, I will ask for. Um, let's see. Garage, kitchen, shed, living room. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Wow. I can offer you one card worth one point. Mm, I don't want to give you this one. <laughs> you got to give me that one. I know. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Fine. Hold on. Ugh, fine. Here. Give me the card. <laughs> Alright, there. Oh my god. Well, I mean, you got you got a useful information too. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you would do something I like know. that. Competitive. What can I say? Alright, so and that this one. goes in the discard as well? Yes. Okay. The card we just got. So now that both of us have done that, <laughs> we now uh, have the chance to guess if we want. Mm -hmm. I'm going to assume you're not ready to do that yet. I'm totally not ready. <laughs> All right. So now we discard down to three so that we have three cards okay. left in our hand. And okay. then we draw three from the deck. Um, so what would I not want you to have? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that and I'll take these. One, um, two, three. Well, All right. So now I got to note this new information. So uh, try not to look while you're discarding. All one, right. two, three. Fine. That's that one. Oops. Okay, so there's that one there. And... All right, so just to quickly show you folks what I've 
updated. So this one here and this one here and this one here. That means that they can't possibly, if, if, if anyone was here, there's no path. So that eliminates this. So if I can figure out who was here, then we're good. But good luck with that. Mm -hmm. She's not going to make it easy on me. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. There you go. <laughs> you are first player. I am first player. You are first player. So I have to choose. You have, uh, yeah, four choices. <sighs> All right. Let's do, um, let's do Claudette. Yep. Um, kitchen, shed, and garage. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. I have no cards related to any of those things. So what happens now? You draw two and from the deck, you note them, and you... Uh, you put them in the discard? You put them in the discard, right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Then it will be your turn? Yep. Uh, so yeah, now I have to figure out what to ask you about. Um, let's see. Let's go with, um... Hold on, give me a second. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I'm still, I'm still looking anyway, you're fine. Go with that one, and hmm. and oh, yeah. you good? Yeah, I think so. All right, I'd like to know about the Berwick sisters. Okay. I'd like to know about Stanley. Okay. Library and study. Ooh. Crime scene. Ooh. All right. Study. Broke sisters. Cover your sheet. And who else? Uh, okay. So wait. Library. Library. Stanley. And just as a reminder, folks, we normally wouldn't have to do this, but I. It doesn't make much camera sense to both be hidden and it would make for a very good video if you couldn't see what I was doing. <sighs> you said library, not okay. Yeah, look, yeah, library, library Stanley, Stanley, study, and Berwick sisters. Okay. I have four cards worth 10 points. Holy. I can't possibly do that. Um, you can give me, you can offer some of them. Oh, okay. Partial. Okay, I have, um... I mean, I only have that, so... Um, okay, so one card worth three. I can do that. Um, let's do that one. Let's do... That one, and... Mm. All right, so I have three cards worth one. Okay. And you gave me one card worth three. Yep. So I'm gonna note whatever this is. I'm gonna remove my sheet here. And let's see. Um... <laughs> what are you talking about? Mm. <laughs> All right. Um, and I'm just going to discard what I just saw. And while you're updating that information, I'm going to try... No, no, you're fine. I'm going to take the time to cross out the weapons that, um, 
that I've already crossed out below here. That one, that one, that one, uh, that one, and then uh, that one, that one, that one, and that's it. So, again, just a quick overview of what we're doing so far. Hopefully you can read some of that chicken scratch. <laughs> but... Alright, so do you need more time? Um, no, I think... All right. I'm going to discard down to... Well, are you making a guess discard. first? No. I'm not. No. I'll just be honest and so, say I'm not. No, me neither. So I'm going to discard down to three, which I'm already at, and I'm just going to draw three more. One, two... Three, and now I need to note this new information. Um, so just to show the camera real quick. Um, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... Okay. So we... Oops. Can I reveal this, or discard one to down to three? Right? Down to three. Okay, and then pick three. Yes. Sorry. Okay. All right. I'm gonna remove this so yeah, I can okay. edit new information. I'm editing, editing my stuff too. All right. So let's see. So I'm. Um, hmm. That's that. And. Mm -hmm. And hmm. so here's the thing. They claim this. Now the murderer will always tell the truth about where they started, but it doesn't mean they were there at the time of the murder. But here's the thing. So, because they also claimed this, I have to... Okay. And I think... Okay. And did you go first last turn? I don't remember. I think you did. You had the first player marker. So you go. Yeah. So let me figure out who I want to ask about. Don't look at my sheet I'm while looking. I look. Um, okay. Let's go with... Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go with um, that one. Actually, we have some information already, but the nice thing is because we're discarding, there's going to be no repeat information. That's really cool. I like that about the mm -hmm. two-player game. I'm more, I was worried I'd be getting repeats, but in the solo mode, you can worry about repeats. In two-player, stuff, stuff I already know about is here, yeah. which is nice. Um, so let's go with uh, that one there, and oh, that, that would help if I did it the right way. Um, that one, and let's continue our. Uh, let's go with. Uh, hmm. All right. So I have. I'm gonna cover my sheet up. Claudette, bedroom, shed, and library. Claudette, bedroom, shed, and library. I have one card worth one point. Ooh. All right. Um, one card worth one point, you say? Mm-hmm. All right. I don't want to give you this, but I have to. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And that one gets discarded. It's the, it's the joy of this game. Sometimes you get repeat information mm -hmm. from two different sources. I already knew about that, thank you. It is the only thing I had. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not my fault. Yeah, it is your fault. All right. That time I wish it was. <laughs> mm -hmm. funny. So yeah. now you get to ask me about four things, and I'll cover my sheet. All right. Um, let's see. Um, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to ask about Claudette, Greg, or Mortimer, or the kitchen. All right, let's see what I got. Um... Probably too much information for you, but uh, all right. I can offer you two cards mm -hmm. worth two points. Two worth two points. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so either a two or two ones. A two or two ones. I'll give you two ones. All right. I will give you these two. Let's see what we get. Uh, all right. Okay. Interesting. And Thank you for that information. Dang it, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, one of them was, you know, not helpful at all. Uh, but I appreciate it. Anyway. Well, see, here's the thing. He was, he was right. So I wonder. Like... I'm really curious to know... what he thinks. I'm really curious to know where that's going. All right. Okay, because he could still be lying about that. Okay, so, um, so, so, so I think that's three. it. So we now we, we discard down to three, Yep. and then you pick up three. Okay. One. Two, three, and we record the new information. Yep. All right, so. <clears throat> That's one. And. Doesn't really matter because that's that. Okay, so you are first player, I believe. Okay, hold on. I sorry. think no, no, you're fine. I'm, I just don't remember. No, because you asked about these three. Yes, yeah, so you would get to go first. Take your time. Okay. But just to show the folks at home that happen to be still watching at this point, um, so this. And this, so yes, but what about that? This isn't a repeat case, right? This is not. No, okay. this is a new case. Oh, no, that's why I read the case number 
in the beginning. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'm ready. Okay. So I have to pick, um, okay. Let's do, um, have to pick four things, right? Um, uh, you do. Library. Shed. Uh, library. Mm -hmm. Shed. Berwick Sisters. Berwick Sisters. And... Sorry, I'm thinking. Take your time. Claudette. All right. So let's see what we got going on here. Um, let's see for a minute. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. So I can offer you. Let's see here. Okay, I can offer you that one. And nope. And let's go with okay. I'll make it nice and simple for you. Uh two cards worth um well hold on. Mm -hmm. Did I do that wrong? Yeah, these aren't related. I can't do that one. I can do that one because she asked about it. But the other one... Hmm. I can give you one card worth one point. Okay. Here you go. Good to know. Thank you so much for that information. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you for yours. Thank you. I hate any time I can help. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so now I have to crack this case open. Are you solving it? No, oh. not yet. <laughs> not even long shot. Um, okay, I want to learn about the shed. I'd like to learn about the kitchen. I'd like to learn about the bedroom, and I'd like to learn about ba -ba -ba, the study. Two for two. Two for two, you say? Mm -hmm. Two for two. All right. Um, all right. Let's go with, um, whew. some of these are nice and juicy and <laughs> all right, so I'll do that one and that one. Okay, so two cards, you, or two, two valued cards, right? Yeah, two for two. Juicy cards. I'm giving you some nice juicy cards. Thank you. Yes, anytime. All right, so let's see what you gave me. Okay. Um, all right, so there's that. Okay, that goes there. And I think we both took a turn. Yeah. So I'm just going to draw back up to three cards because I only have three. All right, and while you're doing that, I'm going to make note of the new stuff that I just got. Um, that's already something I know. Um... Okay, and interesting. Okay, so I will cover this up. Okay, um, interesting, interesting, good information, good information. Yes, yes, yes. 
right. Oh, sorry. I still have to discard down to three. Oh, you're still doing that. Oh, okay. Geez. While you're doing that, I will take a closer look at my stuff for the camera. Okay. So that's what we know. Um, and I mean, one, two, three. right there. So I suspect that and that, and it's got to be it could still be any anything here. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to go as fast as No, you're fine. Oh my gosh. What a mess. <laughs> it is a mess. So while you're doing that, I'm going to think about my choices. Yeah, because you're next, right? Yes. So I still think I want um mm -hmm. uh fine 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 I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'll just keep those choices from last round and hope for the best. Go ahead. I did. So I want oh, oh, okay. bedroom, study, kitchen, shed. Bedroom, study, kitchen, shed. All right. Bedroom. Give me it all. I want everything. <laughs> I need to. I need to crack this case open. I have one one. Seriously. One one. That's uh, that's actually what I have. Okay. I don't have anything else. Well, I have to figure out which one of these ones to give you. Um. That's funny because those are the ones that I want. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll give you this one. All right. Here you go. Okay, well. Thank you so much for that information. I appreciate that. Okay. Well, thank and, uh, you, because I'm pretty sure I already knew that. <laughs> All right, so what information would you like to ask about? I am going to get... <sighs> library, kitchen. Uh, oh, hold on. Library, mm -hmm. kitchen. Mm. Library, kitchen, shed. And study. Okay. Um, I have a three worth three. I have a one card worth three points. One card worth three points. That's all I got. Um, I will give you um, these three. For all right. Three. So lots of, okay. So we got some information here. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> I don't even need, all right, and that one. Okay, um, so was that, um, so I think we completed a full turn, right? Yeah, so do we solve? I think, yeah, um, so do you want to? I'm not going to yet, so if you want to try and solve it, go ahead. Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. All right. Okay, so I'll pick three. Yep, three cards. And oh, I discard down to three. Yeah. And then, and then yeah, three so three. I need to discard something from here. Um, I don't want her having that one. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> uh, although, all right, 
right, yeah, I'll just give it. Oh, that's that. Okay, so now one, two, three. Okay. So new cards. Okay, with this information, where that, that, or that, or that, or that. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, all right. Fun! Mm -hmm. All right, I am going to... Ask about. Um, did you go first last time? Or this I? is your guess, so you. Oh yeah, you get to go first. Oh. If if you guessed this, did you guess these? I things? guessed it last time. The second. Time did you I guess study kitchen shed library on on the very last turn, or was that me that guessed it? Pretty sure that was me on the last turn, but I don't remember. <laughs> That's fine. Go. You go first then. Okay. All right. I'll go Angelica, Claudette, Stanley, and Library. Okay. Um, okay. So... Front one. Uh, and oh, did I miss one? Yeah, that one. Oh, uh, hmm. Uh, fudge. All right, well, I'll offer you one for one. One for one? Mm hmm Wow. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, here you go. One right. for one. One for one, there you go. And that goes in the discard when you're done. Yep. All right. I would like to know about that and that and that and that. Study, shed, kitchen, bedroom. Study, kitchen, shed, bedroom. Uh, three, one for three. One for three points, you say? Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Here you go. Three points. Here's the study card. Mm hmm Wait. You, oh, yeah, you said study. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so there's that. I probably gave you the game, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So, are you... I'm ready to solve it. Yeah, I, okay. We should have done it privately, but yeah. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and guess. Yeah, go ahead. 
as well. Oh, okay. So you're okay. So I'm gonna make a guess too. Okay. So I'm gonna hit. So how would that work? Like, so you do it first. So you you put the information and you tell me if you are right or not. Oh, okay. So don't, don't tell me what you put in. Okay. So... Just just yeah. Use use the thumb like pick who you want. And what if I was right? What happens? Then you just tell me that. Well, oh, then it it won't tell me the solution. I think just go back to case. There should be a button that says like back to back? case. Back. Okay. Why don't you go first then? Why don't you do it first? All right. Well, I may be wrong. That's fine. So let's see. We're gonna go with um, that one, and we know it was that one. And if I had to make a guess, let's go with, uh, whoop. probably not, but. If it's a 50-50 chance, you got it, right? Keep on investigating. I got it wrong. Okay. So then, so what, how do I say, what do I do? Solve on the bottom right. Okay. So now you're going to try and solve it. So... <laughs> You're going to get this. You're very good at this. No. You got this. And then check? Yep. Sure, got everything first. Okay. It'll ask you as a confirmation. I solved it. Woohoo! So. <laughs> good job. All right. So, who did it didn't tell me what you picked. Okay. But I'll tell you what I have and you can tell me how close I was. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in with the camera so that folks at home can see what I was missing and all that jazz. Okay. So I knew early on that Greg and Mortimer claimed to be with each other. Yeah. And Angelica claimed to be in the living room as well. Mm -hmm. And the staff reported there were only two people in uh, there. Ah, that's the one I was missing. So I'm like, okay. So Angelica, I found, that was the first thing I learned that Angelica was the murder. Wow. Mm -hmm. Next, I got her... Uh, I, I had, um, once I knew it was her, I had a choice between these two mm. motives and I learned about the magnifying glass soon after that. Mm. My only issue was the weapon. Mm -hmm. I knew she came from the living room. I just found out that this wasn't used and this wasn't used, mm -hmm. but I didn't know if she went from living room, the kitchen to shed to this, or if she went kitchen, bedroom, garage, like I didn't have the path. Mm. And I didn't, I couldn't narrow down the weapon. I see. The weapon is what held me up. You kept giving me a lot of firearm clues. I did. And I already, I had a card in the <laughs> beginning that eliminated all the firearms. I had a little question, like a little arrow letting me know, okay, you gave him all the, like a shotgun. That's all I knew that I gave you. So I was trying to give you things that had to do with a shotgun or evidence that had like a shotgun evidence. Wow. You it. are so, I wasn't thinking that <laughs> oh, hard. I'm sorry. You... <laughs> She does this every time. No, She's so competitive. I was, I was purposely, I was holding back certain Angelica cards. Uh, yeah. But I, at some point I'd be like, you know what? We got to get this moving and just, Aww. so I gave you the two Angelica really? things that I had. Why? Well, I thought you knew who it was Angelica. I lady. had no idea until you gave me those two cards. Oh really? I yeah. I thought it was Berwick or Claudette. Um, the Berwick sisters, they were getting there, but they had two check, check marks up here, and I was only missing the supporting evidence. Mm. So I was like, okay, there's a good chance that could be them. I learned but, in the beginning that the Berwick sisters claimed to be in the billiard room, yes. and they were blocked off from billiard to trophy yeah. and billiard to vestibule. I, so mm -hmm. I knew they were innocent, and because they claimed to be with Stanley, mm -hmm. I knew Stanley was also innocent. I yeah. knew from the beginning that the Berwick sisters and the Stanley was innocent. Yeah, I knew Stanley was innocent. Berwick sisters, kind of. But I knew the pathing early on. I did not. We were That's, opposite. We were yeah. totally opposite. I, I knew that... I knew the fire... The firearm. Like, I, I had it down to two um, weapons, which was either the kitchen or the shed. So I knew that the pathing couldn't have been... Um, to the left side. So I was trying to give you cards that pertain to the garage trophy room. Thanks. And the house. <laughs> but it was it was a close one, I think. It was close. It was very yes. Close. Uh huh. I still prefer the solo version. I do better. too. I actually do. You can really kind of 
hold cards like from yeah people. i held so many angelica cards mm -hmm. and stuff i had to give you them at some point yeah but, um yeah i feel like either either i played it wrong or there was like i feel like i was missing something like mm. some sort of strategy you know what i mean because mm. in a two-player game you have to offer them stuff but maybe maybe in the future like you have to offer everything you have and if the opponent doesn't have like you have to be truthful and give them everything yeah but if they don't have that much that's the only time you can hold back some of your cards yeah that's, that's why the that's, only thing i can think of that would make it fair that's why i was like okay four cards for 10 points and yeah i did i had i had a hand of six mm -hmm. i had one 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 i couldn't take the 10. oh okay mm -hmm. i had a lot of studies in the beginning i was so scared you were gonna ask for study cards because a lot of the study cards just completely wiped off the weapons. You got lucky, though. Like I know in the in the very co first couple turns. Was I like, was struggling. So what um, weapon was it? Which Wh it was the pesticide, the shed. She oh she went through the shed. Mm -hmm. All right, I didn't know I, which way they went. I didn't know Angel Angelica's uh, or origin room at all, but I knew that this path was blocked, and I knew that um this path was blocked through the kitchen. And so I was like, okay, the only possible way, and there was a lot of people that couldn't come through the bedroom. So I was thinking the only real way is to come through the shed. So I didn't even know where her origin place was. Mm-hmm. Close. But yeah, it, it was it was crazy. Okay. Here's my sheet if you want to take a look at the map. Oh madness. my god. <laughs> That's fine. I can't say that mine looks any better. I had question mark. I had arrows to indicate that this was information you already had. <laughs> I'm done. And then I had question marks to the indicate that they were claims. <laughs> Sorry. You wrote down what I... See, you went more meta than me. With it. You... I was just playing to have fun. I am you were too. Yeah, your <laughs> idea of having fun is analyzing everything I do and using it against me. Oh. It's fair. I'll say that. It's fair. But at the same time, you're a meanie head. It's the sleuthing. It's the sleuthing in me. Sleuthing the is sleuth figuring out the puzzle, <laughs> not ruining your opponent because you know what uh, what evidence he needs. Well, this is my jurisdiction. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's kidding. fine. That's funny. That's funny. So there you go, folks. Um, oh. I still maintain that this Awkward Guess is a, still a fantastic game. Yes. Even at the two-player count, um, my concern with three plus is that you would not discard cards the discard pile upon seeing them. You just keep them. Oh, really? So it's possible to pass information back to the same person that you got it from. Mm -hmm. Nor do I want to keep up. Like, not only that, is that kind of crappy, but I don't want to keep up with who gave me what. Yeah. I'd rather make it a house rule that when you get something, you discard it. I, no matter what the player count is. I still prefer this as a solo slash co-op. Me too. I, I, think, I think it's best played that way. Two player was was decent, you know, it was okay, but it was more hectic. Like it was more like a rush. Whereas in the in the solo co op, you can sit you and think can about really, it. Yeah, you can actually think about it. You can take your time with it. You can explore different things. Well, that's one complaint I have with the solo version is that the point system. There's no way to adjust how many points you start with. It's just the easiest mode beginner is seven no seventy points. Oh yeah. So like, I one thing I wanted in this game was. I wanted it to figure out where everyone was, <laughs> and I wanted to eliminate everything. But the game isn't going to let me do that. You can sort of do that on Tabletop Sim. You actually can do that. Oh, okay. You can take all the cards that are in that deck, and you can just go through them. <laughs> I guess. Mm -hmm. What's the point, then? Uh -uh. I mean, <laughs> you, you said you wanted to eliminate everything. It's a logic puzzle kind of thing. I, see. I, yeah. I, I wanted... I, what my biggest wish is that in the app they let me customize how many points I start with. Yeah. Like 150 for a super casual. Just let's just figure out where everything is. Game. That kind of. I wish that was a thing. I love if there was a mode too that actually got rid of the point system. Well, yeah, got rid. Well, kind of got rid of it. Like you can keep going without repeats, and the sooner you solve it, the better your score is. Oh, you okay. Know? On the tabletop or on the app. Oh, on the app. Yeah, okay. I think that would be kind of fun. That would be cool too. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that was Awkward Guests. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, I may stream this again maybe tomorrow. Uh, we'll do solo mode again. We'll see. Uh, depending on, you know, the wishes of Queen oh, Awkward gosh. Guests over here. <laughs> this is Vince and Ida Lee. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye guys.